word. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to do the best that I can Amen. because I want to do the best of my service. Amen. As you already have heard in your reading this morning, the scriptures, which will come back again from the book of 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 1. And I will begin reading again also at verse 12. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you are there, respond by saying amen. And if you would stand in the reverence of the reading of the word of God. Amen. Amen. And I thank Christ Jesus our Lord who has enabled me because he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. My Lord. Although I was formerly a blasphemer, mm. a persecutor, and an insolent man. For many of you that don't know what that word insolent man means, it means that he was a man that was doing anything and everything, mm -hmm. looking for trouble on every hand mm -hmm. to go against the will of God. Right. To God be the glory. Mm. But I obtained mercy because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. Mm. And the grace of our Lord was exceedingly abundant with faith and love, which are in Christ Jesus. Right. This is a faithful saying and worthy of all acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, yes, sir. of whom I am chief. However, for this reason I obtained mercy, mm -hmm. that in me first Jesus Christ might show all long suffering yes. as a pattern to those who are going to believe on him for everlasting life. And as I had my brother to read verse 17, because I wanted you to receive a double portion on today. Mm -hmm. Amen? A double blessing. Mm. Because this is a blessing. Normally you would hear the benediction at the end of your sermon. But today we're going to give the benediction before the sermon as well as after. All right. Now to the king eternal, immortal, invisible, to God, who alone is wise, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. 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 To God be the glory for the great things that he has done. Yes, sir. That he is doing and that he is yet to do. If I was to use a thought for my subject on today, my subject would be, that's what he's done for me. Mm -hmm. To God be the glory. Amen. And as I get into the text and in this word today, you're going to understand exactly what I'm talking about. After spending three years preaching and teaching at Ephesus, Paul left the church in the hands of a capable young preacher by the name of Timothy. Timothy was a young man in his first pastoral adventure, and he encountered his share of problems. Right. My God, my God. He had to combat false teachers. Mm -hmm. He had to overcome the rise of false doctrines. There was disorder in the worship service. He had to find and train qualified church leaders. All right. There was a sin of materialism. And in the midst of all of this, some of the people in the church thought that Timmy was not, Timothy was not even worthy of being the preacher. Think so. Come on, somebody. Amen. Mm -hmm. You know how it is in the church when people don't approve of you because they don't preach the way that they feel that you ought to preach. Really? Come on, somebody. Well, mm -hmm. he's not worthy of being able to become a preacher because I know what he used to do. Go ahead. Come Go ahead. on, somebody. All right. Ah, but I tell you today, God is great. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there is none above him. All right. 
Timothy was just about at that time 30 years old. Mm. And in the Greco-Roman world, a man didn't come into his manhood, that's in their thinking, mm. until he was about 40 years of age. All right. So here is young Timothy, inexperienced pastor, All right. trying to deal with people who are re recalculant. Mm. The word recalculant, if most of you don't know, is uncooperative. Right now. That means that they had uncooperative attitudes <laughs> towards him. Yeah. Uh, we're not going to receive him no matter what people say. Go Come on, somebody. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, but I know all about young Timothy. Have you heard people say that about you before? Go ahead. That they know all about you and that you're not worthy of anything? Yeah. Or are you never going to grow up to a mountain? Nothing. Preach it, sir. Preach it. Come on, somebody. Right. I've heard it all before. Yes, sir. But glory be to God. Yes, sir. Mm. And some of the people, they were stubborn, but yet they needed leadership and training. Amen. And Paul had placed Timothy over the, that fledgling, immature congregation. Uh -huh. right. But he's having some trouble leading them. Yes. They despise his youth. Mm -hmm. uh, has anybody ever despised your youth? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know people that come up to you and sometimes, well, you ain't old enough. I've even had it to happen to me when Brother Colin said, uh, why don't you uh, go up and get on the uh, planning board mm. here in Terrell County? Mm. I went and put my name in the pot, right. but yet all of the leaders, I guess, that were already put in place made the statement, well, he's not old enough mm. Mm. to be able to handle the task. But yet, as soon as they rejected me, they in turn chose somebody that was five years younger than what I was. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all got to know exactly what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think it had anything to do with my age. Mm -hmm. Come on. Because for one, I had already made it plain. I'm not going to be your yes man. Right I'm not going to go and be a part of this board and agree with everything that you say uh, just because. All right. All right. Because we're supposed to be put in place to be for the people all right. yeah. and about the people, yeah. not about ourselves. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Ah, but sometimes in life, we face these things yes, sir. because people have already passed judgment on us. Before we can even have the opportunity mm. to right. take on the task. All right. My God, my God. Uh -huh. And that's exactly what we find here today in this passage. All right. Where young Timothy was not accepted uh -huh. as their pastor. But Paul says to Timothy, <laughs> come on, somebody. Mm. 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 Steer up the gift. Yes, sir. Yeah. That is in you. Uh -huh. yeah. Paul says, steer up. The gift uh -huh. that is in you. I say that to every young person in the church today. Stir up the gift. Yeah. Because man doesn't know what God has already planned for Amen. your life. Amen. Man does not know what God has planned right. for your future. Right. 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 Ah, because the very one that they're putting down today is going to be the very one that they're going to have to come back to later on. Right. Come on, somebody. Right. Ah, he yeah. said, stir up the gift. Right. Paul says to Timothy that I know that it's in you. Uh -huh. ha, my God, my God. Mm -hmm. I've seen it in you. Yeah. It was in your grandmother uh -huh. and your mother. Yes, Come sir. on, somebody. Yes, yeah. Ah, Paul said, you were raised right. Yeah. Yes, sir. My God, my God. Uh -huh. You know, when, when certain people, when, when the old mothers, see, I, I, I think about Mother YT as when God was giving me this mm -hmm. because she saw something in myself and my brother my a long time ago. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, and, and she spoke boldly. Yeah. She said, you know what, young men? She said, one day, y'all going to be standing behind that pulpit. Mm -hmm. Y'all going to be preaching the word of God. To God be the glory. And guess what? The words that she spoke mm -hmm. 
has come to pass. To God be the glory. My, my, my. Uh, Paul said, yes. Said, I know that it's in you because I know it has been put in you by your grandmother, Lois. Yes. Come on, somebody. Uh, and, and, and I know that it was also instilled in you by your mother, Eunice. Go ahead. Come on, somebody. Uh, uh, but church, I stand before you today to let you know that don't let anybody uh, criticize you because of your youth and your inexperience. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Come on, somebody. Uh, and Paul admonishes and encourages young Timothy. Uh -huh. And he says to him that if you want to talk about hard times, Brother Timothy, All right, now. come on, somebody. Go ahead, go Paul ahead. said, let me give you my testimony. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Ah, and when Paul relates to Timothy about his testimony, he's actually sharing with Timothy, my God, huh. this is what the Lord has done for me. All right. Uh, Y'all ain't hear me. Uh, so as I stand before you today, uh -huh. I can stand before you also and give you my testimony. Right now. This is what the Lord yeah. has done for me. Yeah. Oh, come on, somebody. Uh, ah, my, my, my. All right, I don't man. know if the Lord has ever done anything for you. Uh -huh. But I know what he's done for me. Yes, sir. Good yeah. God on my my, my, my. Mm -hmm. Ah, but he went on to tell Paul, uh, Paul that surely now, uh -huh. if the Lord can do this in my life, uh -huh. oh, hello, somebody. Uh -huh. If the Lord can do this in my life, surely he can do it in yours. Amen. Ah, y'all don't hear me. Come on, somebody. Yes, sir. Ah, so whenever you tell your testimony and whenever you share your faith, hey, this, is, this is what Paul was telling Brother Timothy now. He said, whenever you share your faith uh -huh. with the people, whenever you tell your testimony, mm -hmm. remember to tell them what you were before God put his hands on you. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right. All right. All right. See, most people don't want to hear what you were before God put his hands on you. And if they don't want to hear what you were, you know they're not interested in hearing what you are. All right. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Yeah. And brothers and sisters, some of you in here today, see, I'm, I'm not pointing fingers. You're looking all good. Yeah. <laughs> My God Almighty. You dressed up in here this morning. All right now. Mm -hmm. You made up, looking sharp. <laughs> but guess what? Mama. You should have seen me. Mama. See, I can talk about me. <laughs> you should have seen me uh, before God put his hands on me. My Lord. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead. Uh, see, I know many of you in here this morning are ashamed to tell it. Uh, you don't want to tell it. My Lord. Because you feel shame of your past. Mm. Come on, but I got news for you today. Well, your past doesn't determine your future. Amen. Amen. Ah, you should have known some of us 15, 10, 5, maybe even 3 years ago. My Lord. Ah, and look at where the Lord has brought us from. Thank you, Lord. God Thank Almighty. You. When mm. I shout, huh, mm. when I open my mouth, mm -hmm. I'm just sharing this testimony. Yes, sir. Amen. Ah, look at what he's done yeah. for me. Uh -huh. yeah. Good. God have mercy. Oh, I want y'all to stay with me now. Yeah, Lord. Amen. God Almighty. Yeah. See, you don't have the same testimony that I might have. All right. Your testimony is going to be completely different. Mm -hmm. But are you telling it? Mm. See, that's the most important thing. Yes, sir. Are you telling your testimony. Mm. See, sometimes we can be put into shame so much even by church leaders and church officials when they tell, well, don't you stand up there and tell that test a lie. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Yeah. I've heard it all too often. All right now. But they don't know your story. Yeah. Ah, they don't know your story. Mm. Good God Almighty. 
Because I know for a fact huh, that some of us in here today, huh, if God had never put his hands on us, well, we probably would have ended up in those two words that rhyme. Mm. Oh, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Y'all know those two words that rhyme? Mm. You would have either ended up in jail or on your way to hell. Mm. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I'm not ashamed to say it. Uh, because you got to start telling the truth. All right. Hello, somebody. Ah, uh, I wish I had a witness in here. My, my. Amen. He Amen. might not have bought me from it, but I thank God that he kept me from it. Amen. All right, all right. Y'all don't understand that. Dude. You didn't get that part, did you? Uh, God may not have brought me from the things that may have made me end up in jail or even in hell. But he kept me all right. from those two places. All right, all right. Are you with me this morning? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I wish I had a witness. Mm. I thank God for my story. Yeah. I thank God for my testimony. Mm. I thank God for the trials and the tribulations that I had to come through in order for me to endure the persecution. All right, now. To endure all of the backbiting. Oh, I, 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 I thought back a little bit on a little video that my wife was showing about some woman was, was telling somebody to be encouraged and she couldn't even get the words right. No. <laughs> How can you encourage somebody if you don't even know what to say to them? <laughs> oh, good God have my, I'm, I'm not even going to go there. <laughs> but I thank God yeah. that I'm not what I used to be. Amen. I'm not where I ought to be, but I'm not where I used to be. Amen. Come on, somebody. All right. All right. Uh, many of you may be looking at me kind of funny here because you may know my history. You may think that you know my history, but guess what? You don't know my future. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Come on, somebody. Amen. Ah, because my past didn't determine my future. My Lord. God had a plan a long time ago, yes. already laid it out. Amen. Could God have it even before the foundations of the earth? Amen. Come on, come on. Ah, but my Amen. future was sealed. Praise, yeah. praise God, God be the glory. Right. Somebody here was sick, mm. and he made you well. Yeah. You were broke. And he paid your bill. Yeah. You were down and he raised you up. Yes, sir. You were depressed and he lifted up your bow down yeah. head. Come on, somebody. Ah, my God, my God. There were even times when you thought that you couldn't even smile again because of all the things that people were saying about you. My God. But what? But guess what? God put a new song. Yeah. God put a new song in yeah, your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God, my God. Yeah. You thought that you would never stop crying. Mm. Ha. But God, yeah. but God yeah. had this saying uh, in the words. He says that weeping yeah. may endure for yeah, a night. Yeah. But joy, yeah. but joy yeah. cometh in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God, my God. I don't yeah. know about you, but how many of you are facing that joy? Yeah. How many of you are facing that joy from all the crying, from all the weeping? Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Ah, don't be ashamed to give God some praise. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because once you praise him, you're going to realize what he's done. Yeah. You got a reason to praise. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. The song said, I got to praise on my mouth. Yeah. And I just can't keep it to myself. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Ah, I got a reason to praise. Yes, sir. Ah, I got a reason to praise. Yeah. Ah, because he put food on my table. He put a roof over my head. He put clothes on my back. He put clapping in my hand. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yes, sir. Ah, mm. Lord, I tell you, I can't tell it all. Ah. I can't tell it all, but guess what? 
I'm going to tell what I can. All right, now. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to tell what you can. Uh, even when they don't want to hear it. Yes, sir. You still got to tell it. Uh -huh. To God Jesus, be Jesus. the glory. All right. That's my testimony on today, mm -hmm. church. Right. That's what he's done for me. All right. Uh, All right. Come on. Let, let's go back to the text a little bit here now. Mm. Let us walk with Paul through his testimony. Ah. Uh -huh. uh, as he admonishes and encourages young Timothy uh -huh. from his own life experience. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. My God. Sometimes, church, if this walk was easy, mm -hmm. see, if it was easy, my, my. everybody would be walking in the same direction. Yeah. Yeah. See, but God didn't have us on all going in the same direction, right. but he has us all going where? 